are you creating a gap in your stories? And if not, why should you? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In following other storytelling experts and leading sales coaches, I keep coming across this word, gap. What is a story gap and why should you have one? The story gap is the difference between what your hero wants and where that person is today. For example, if you're a financial advisor and you've got a client who's worried, concerned, frustrated about her financial situation, the gap is her current emotional state and financial security. As a speech coach, when I work with individuals who are frustrated, lack confidence, feel anxiety, their desire is to be confident, have a compelling message, and deliver it in a dynamic style. The gap is the area between those two, frustration to confidence, uh, lack of knowledge of what to say versus having clear material. The gap is where your prospective audience also lives. They have frustrations, concerns, dreams that aren't being fulfilled. You are the solution to that gap. You can fill the gap and make their lives better. As you're creating your next story, ask yourself, what gap do you fill? And how can you illustrate that with a successful client story? Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.